Okay, we want to share with you this great ruler system and measuring system that comes to us from Germany. And it is a customized ruler for taking great measurements easily. It's developed by Ursula Hirth from Germany, who is our distributor for garment designer. And we want to show you how this works. There are three parts to the ruler, a short, a long side, and they're on a hinge. And then we also have a little short arm like this, which can slide onto one end of the ruler here. And then we can basically use it as a T-square. Okay, here we have a cute little garment. So I'm gonna use the ruler because I wanna kind of measure its neckline for putting a hood in. And so in this case, I'm just gonna start by bringing the ruler across and taking a reading at the other end. And I can see that I'm at 12 and a quarter. So this part's really no different than a regular ruler. But at the same time then, let's look at the sleeve. And so if I want to see what the depth of the sleeve is from at the underarm point of the sleeve up to the top, this is when my ruler gets really handy. So I'm going to hold this up here at the shoulder and then I'm sliding my little bottom piece along till I get to the bottom of the armhole. And I can see that that measures about seven and three quarter inches in depth. So we've used it in that manner there. Okay, so here we have another garment, and I'm going to take a few measurements here. Let's say I want to see what is the so shoulder slope of this blouse. So I'm going to hold, one way I do it is I hold this straight, and I'm going to slide my little slide rule along until I get this straight across so that this end of the ruler up here is hitting at the neck edge, and this end here is sitting right here. So it's this depth here that I'm measuring and I can see by looking here that I have a two inch slope. So surprisingly this blouse has quite a bit of slope. Likewise I can also measure the neck width of this garment as I had showed you before. But let's take a look at the sleeve now because this is another great place. I want to get some information about the sleeve. So I reposition my garment and now I want to determine how wide is the sleeve. And so once again, I'm just sliding this along until I can see that the girth of my sleeve on the half is almost six inches. There is the five and three quarter inch and I'm gonna slide it in. I'm just repositioning to, it's about five and a half. Let's look at the cap height now. So I can just turn this again. And the same idea, if I wanna get the cap height for this, I'm just sliding this along until I lay everybody flat and I can see that my cap height is about five and a quarter, a little more than five and a quarter, between five and a quarter and five and a half. So I got the cap height from that. So that's another cool way of using this. And so here we have another way we're going to do some body measurements now. So the key is to keep this as square as possible when you're doing this. And I'm going to have Melissa here measure the width of her neck. So she's going to hold this up and slide it in there and then slide the little short side up until she gets the measurement along her neck and then she can slide it off and take the measurement of her neck which she will read right here on the inside side. Okay and here we're showing you another use where we're going to take the ruler, tuck it underneath her arm, we're trying to figure out armhole depth and let's just slide that top part down. Usually you have somebody else do this and so now we can figure out an armhole depth by making sure that everything is square and once we have everything square then you will come in and get your armhole depth measurement there. Okay now we're going to do another measuring method. We're just taking the two parts of the ruler and sliding them together and since this is a flexible ruler if you wanted to measure the length of a sleeve cap then you could just hold it up like that and then read your measurement at this end and then you would have the length of the sleeve cap. So as you can see, there are lots of ways to use this ruler in all its parts. And we have one, two, three parts. And this is the hearth measuring ruler and we just think it's great.